Hi there, Denny here at Disney Springs West Side. I am just outside of City Works over my left shoulder and it is dinner time, friends. I'm thinking that a little dinner is in order and so I am going to have a meal at City Works and take you along with me. As you can tell, it is a breezy evening, slightly overcast, but those are the best kind of nights to be out at Disney Springs, in my opinion, because you don't get absolutely roasty toasty by the time you get to your dinner. Just for a little backstory with CityWorks. CityWorks opened in 2019, kind of in conjunction with the NBA experience. NBA experience had their huge grand opening in August and then everything hit with the temporary closures due to the pandemic and the NBA experience never got back up and running. CityWorks was able to adapt. They built on and extended their patio, so they've got a lot of great outdoor seating. If that's more your jam, you're going to have some options here. And they've got a, a really great vibe inside. This will be my third time dining at CityWorks, and I'm really excited to get in there and try a little something different. It's a fun, loud atmosphere. If you're looking for fun and loud, <laughs> you're going to be good. And sports, of course. We've got sports going on as well. Let's go inside. I'm at the table in City Works. Food has just arrived. Look how genuine this, this bowl of pasta is. I got the Cajun pasta. It's got blackened chicken and dewy sausage. It's got a, 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 just a sauce going on the whole nine yards. Um, it's supposed to be like our server when he recommended a few things this was like one of his favorites so i decided to go for it now i'm getting ready to chomp in but beforehand and i'm i'm not going to take down just yet i won't take down the background i usually pick the background music down just a little bit so that you can hear me thank you no it's wonderful thank you isaiah it's fantastic Isaiah the server is wonderful. Um, so anyhow, I typically make the background noise a little bit less. I want you to hear what the restaurant sounds like so you get a feel for the noise level. It's like you would expect in a sports bar. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of people talking, and it's not just a sports bar. It's a little bit more. It's more elevated than that. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to give you the. The thought like we're at a Buffalo Wild Wings or something when we're at City Works. No, it's it's better than that. Let me bite in to this pasta real quick. Well, while we're together on camera, let me do this. A little twirl. I was told that this heat wise is maybe a level five out of ten. So let's see. <laughs> No, no, that's like an eight. <laughs> this is some spicy, this is some spicy stuff, friends. As I slobber, I'm gonna try this andouille sausage. I love andouille sausage, that's delightful. I'm gonna try this chicken and just take a bite of it. So the menu said it was blackened chicken. That's, a, that's actually not as blackened as blackened chicken can be. Not a lot of heat coming off the chicken. But man, the sauce. So I have found a place just to be able to break down the meal that I just had with you and to kind of go over a few other things. Um, because this is, as I said, this wasn't my first time at City Works, Eatery, and Poor House. It is, it was my third time. And as you can see, I'm wearing different clothes. Like this is a completely different day. <laughs> and I'm back here at Disney Springs to talk about the experience. Had a, had a movie I needed to catch, so <laughs> forgive me, please. But I'm really excited to be here. It's a lovely afternoon. And so I thought it would be a really good chance just to find a quiet spot right outside of City Works and talk about my thoughts on the food that I've had the chance uh, to have so far at City Works. So the very first time that I came to the restaurant, I went safe. I was in the mood for a burger, 
So that's exactly where I went. I went for the City Works Burger, which is $19, and ultimately it was a fantastic choice. Let me read the description for you real quick. Aged white cheddar, shredded lettuce, vine ripened tomato, red onion, dill pickle. Simple, simple, simple. It was really enjoyable. I loved it. Their fries, they do French fries really well. They also have sweet potato fries if that's your thing. My husband on that same visit had the pulled pork sandwich for $19 and he thought it was great. It's hand pulled um, hardwood smoked pork shoulder, uh, barbecue sauce, cider, mustard, coleslaw, spicy bread and butter pickles. You see all those pickles stacked up on top. So um, equally, just really flavorful, very enjoyable, very approachable sandwiches. Also on that visit, we had two of their desserts. Now City Works offers four desserts in total. These two, we chose really well. <laughs> if I know, if I can toot my own horn, I think we chose well. We had the Snickers, the peanut butter Snickers pie. Um, that is an Oreo crust peanut butter mousse, Snickers, whipped cream, caramel, and chocolate sauce for $10. Friends, when I say that this was a good dessert, please, please hear me. It was a really good dessert. If Snickers or peanut butter or chocolate or caramel or all of the above are in your wheelhouse, you will enjoy this dessert. The other dessert that we had is the baked cookie. So this is also $10. It has features, chocolate chip cookie dough, caramel, chocolate sauce, vanilla bean, ice cream, and whipped cream. And it is as good as that picture makes it look. It's better. It's so good, this dessert. There are a couple of other desserts on the menu, um, including a celebration Sunday for $12. The other dessert is also 10. So you have quite a few uh, choices to be made. The second visit had me eating the City Works chopped salad, also for $19. Features grilled chicken, romaine, iceberg, red leaf, hardwood smoked bacon, tomatoes, cucumbers, red onion, blue cheese crumbles, avocado, and sweet herb vinaigrette. This was a great salad. I was I was feeling like in the salad mood that night, and this was just a, a perfect a perfect option. You know, salads aren't too easily found here at Disney Springs. Um, I would love a grab and go salad place. I know we were supposed to get Beatrix. I know um, I know that Summer House is coming, so I'm, I have high hopes for that being a nice fresh place. I would love for them to have a grab and go option. Earl of Sandwich down at the Marketplace end of things has some salads, really good salads in fact, um, chopped salads. So, you know, there are some options, but this is just a, this is a nice option for the moment. Um, yeah, I, I can't knock it, it was good. So when I sat down for dinner this time, um, I was ready for something new. I just wanted something different. We asked exactly um, what is the most popular, what our server thought. Our server, Isaiah, was wonderful. He suggested the Cajun linguine. He, su he suggested a couple of things. Starting with the Cajun linguine. The Cajun linguine is blackened chicken, andouille sausage, bell peppers, red onion, scallions, sriracha cream, linguine pasta and it can also be made gluten-free upon request and that is $23. I enjoy spicy things. I can handle spicy things. Can I to, to a certain degree? Um, <laughs> and uh, this when the Cajun linguine came to the table I could smell the heat. And friends when you can smell the heat in a dish coming off of the dish that should be a good indication of the level of spiciness. Um, and unfortunately, this proved too spicy for me. I knew that if I had, if I ate this uh, dish, um, I just wasn't gonna enjoy it, not by any measure. Could I tell that it was a quality dish? Absolutely. The andouille sausage, I love andouille sausage. So good. The chicken that was blackened actually wasn't as spicy, wasn't as heat forward as I would have thought it was going to be. Like I thought that was gonna, if we're gonna have an issue, 
it's gonna be that. No, the issue was the sriracha cream sauce. It was just pretty over the top for me. And so Isaiah was wonderful. He switched it out and he, um, I decided to go with his second suggestion, the Smokehouse Burger. And it was winner, winner, burger dinner. I ate the entire thing. Every morsel of this burger was consumed. The Smokehouse Burger is $21 and features hardwood barbecued smoked pulled pork shoulder smoked provolone, barbecue bacon, onion relish, Carolina mustard barbecue sauce, and crispy buttermilk onion rings. Let's just stop on <laughs> barbecue bacon onion relish. Yes, you want this. You may think, do I want this? The answer is yes, you do. It is just so good. Anything, anytime, you know, Disney, a couple of the Disney restaurants, and this is not to be noted, noteworthy city works is not um is not a disney restaurant per se but some of the disney restaurants are starting to do or have started to do over the last year and a half an onion jam on some of their sandwiches on some of their burgers yes anytime you see that on the menu you want that get that it's so good this burger was truly the best of both worlds. You got that great City Works burger, and also you had the pulled pork, the pork shoulder that they that they do. And if you're asking me, a Carolina mustard-based cider vinegar sauce. That's that that's what I want. Like Carolina mustard cider sauce. Yes, please. I want that that bite of the vinegar. And so this came in layers. It was it was not elegant to eat. <laughs> I will say that, I was a bit of a mess, but that's okay, because it was all worth it. That burger was great. The pulled pork on top, the pork shoulder, great, uh, moist, forgive me, but it was moist. Um, and then you had the layer of that relish you had the onion rings, which they call them buttermilk um, onion rings. They're they're more like a shoestring, more like a it's just like an like a freshly done onion straw, which was wonderful, wonderful because everything came in layers, and you got just this wonderful, wonderful flavor as you uh, as you had the dish. Of course, I got the City Works fries, and I have no notes for those fries. Those fries are so good. I was incredibly pleased with the Smokehouse Burger. My husband got the pork chop for $29. It's over in the mains section of the menu. It uh, features a bone-in center cut pork chop, potato puree, chipotle maple glaze. We will come back to this. This was very good. <laughs> Put a pin in it. We'll, we'll come back to it. Cinnamon spiced apples and crispy buttermilk onion rings. So those same kind of thinly done uh, onion rings were also on his pork chop. When I say that this pork chop was flavorful, like incredibly good, so, so good. Had a lovely crust, like it would just hit your taste buds in waves, in layers. You had this beautiful crust and then you had the saltiness because there was some salt going on on that crust. And then you had the onion rings hit and the potato puree. It's interesting that they call it a puree. puree. They're, I mean, obviously they know what they're doing. They're, they are exactly right. It's not a mashed potato. It's thinner than a mashed potato, which kind of is nice because in my mind, mashed potatoes, there's only so many mashed potatoes you can eat. The potato puree was a great base to the pork chop or complement to the pork chop. The onion rings, and then that glaze, the chipotle maple glaze. So you got a little bit of heat, but you got a little bit of sweet, and it was the best of both worlds. That's, that's this is the theme. <laughs> I think of this restaurant is the really the best of both worlds because you have an elevated dish like that pork chop, like that smokehouse burger, but you have it in a really fun, somewhat casual, yet still elevated space. It's not just a typical sports bar. We'll get back to that, but it's just, it's not just that. 
cinnamon apples going on with that pork chop. Man, the whole thing was just spot on. If you are looking for something that is a little bit more, like you just need a meal, that's a great go-to. Um, just worth noting, if you're here during the Thanksgiving season, City Works is also offering Thanksgiving. So if you're here on Thanksgiving and you're looking for something substantial, something that might reflect Thanksgiving a little bit more, definitely look into City Works and see what they're offering and if that would fit the bill for you. City Works itself, is just this wonderful little enigma. Like this has been, I don't want to call it the bell of the ball because that sounds like, I feel like that is a category in and of its uh, in, of, in and of itself. But the City Works has been roundly favorably reviewed and for good reason, just for good reason. I've not had a bad meal there. I've been there three times, eaten three, four now very different dishes if we conclude if we include the, the Cajun linguine um, and and also and just quite enjoyable listen that linguine was too spicy for me if you love I have friends who would have wolfed that thing down with no problem um, the sriracha cream sauce wouldn't have been a barrier for some spice and heat is very subjective so you do you on that this space is a lot of fun. There are, if you're looking for a place to watch sports, you know, with the demise of ESPN over at the boardwalk, you know, we've all been like, well, where are we supposed to, we're here at Walt Disney World and my favorite team is playing on Sunday, where am I supposed to go? Or it's the World Series, as was the case the night that I was there. It was the first night of the World Series. That place was packed with, with uh, people in all their Phillies gear. It was a fun, joyous, big game atmosphere, and it was so much fun. If you weren't there for the big game, you still had fun. You still had a great meal and a nice um, atmosphere. Now, it is loud, and that's the whole reason I did that little clip at the table. I don't want to disturb other diners, fellow diners around me, but I had, <laughs> I had to have y'all listen to the volume so if you have someone in your party who might be sensitive to volume levels keep that in mind before you uh, make your advanced dining reservation at city works but this is a great place to to catch your favorite team to catch that big game to cheer them on if you love uh beer all things beer you are going to have so many choices at city works that's not my thing, but it could be yours. You're gonna find a lot of different things. Also worth noting, there are two bars that you can walk up to from the outside. There's one that's a little bit smaller toward the front entrance. They also have some options that you can get, um, some very limited menu, but some of the menu selection can be found there. And then there's a larger bar um, around the side, right? right where I am, it's right over my shoulder. That's the larger bar. So you'll be able to find lots of options there and they have an express menu. So you can walk up, grab and go, and friends, please take note that that peanut butter pie is on that express to go menu. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. And so that's it. That wraps up the meal here at City Works. Um, the three meals. You know, just, they're doing it. They're doing it right here. If you are looking for outdoor seating, like I said, there's plenty of that there. Uh, definitely check them out. See if you'll, you know, you'll see City Works uh, advanced dining reservations pop up in My Disney Experience. So definitely keep an eye on that. If you're here, it never hurts to walk up to the host stand and just ask if they have any availability. They'll let you know. So what about you? Have you been to City Works and what have you tried on their menu? Because listen, friends, I have a list. <laughs> I have a list that can be added too. So please let me know what you've enjoyed at City Works in the past. And will City Works be on your radar for your next visit to Disney Springs? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. It's just such a privilege to have you tune in each week. So delighted to have you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, uh, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, please consider subscribing to the channel. 
and, um, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. For fun in between the videos, follow me on Instagram at Denny underscore Sunderly. That's D-E-N-I underscore S-U-N-D-E-R-L-Y. Have a great one, friends. Take good care. Bye. <laughs>